Hello everybody. Welcome back to the channel. Today I want to show you something special. It's not these, not these, don't panic. These are my prints. I've had this family for about 10 years now. Uh, I got the original copbird in 09. No, the ring's 09, I got the copbird in 010. 2010, so I've had them 10 years. And I've bred off that one copbird and bred more and more and more off the son, daughter, brother, sister, mother, everything. Anyway, these are my prints that I'm led to believe are Macclesfield. Just from what people have told me, they are po probably Macclesfield ticklers. Macclesfield prints. So um, I've been looking for a bird to mix in with these to make the blood a bit different. So I think they need some new blood in mixing with them. And now I've purchased, well not purchased, I've been gifted, we swapped, we swapped some canaries, I had canaries, we swapped my canaries for some Macclesfield tipplers. So I'll put, I've got two, where can I rest this, here, I've got two Macclesfields that are print, excuse the heavy the flying over, I've got eight Macclesfields, but two of them are print. So I'm now going to place one of them in here with these and you tell me if you think it looks very similar. Right, the one with the green ring on is a pure Macclesfield tipler. Do you think it's the same type of colour and shape of the bird as mine is? They're obviously hungry, my bears over there. But you can see that one there with the green ring on. That is a Macclesfield tippler. Come from a gentleman originally, originally they came from Manchester. A man purchased them from somebody in Manchester because he was packing them up. I'll just get the other one. This too has got a green ring on. There. I think that's a good match. And to be honest, if it weren't for the coloured rings, you wouldn't know. You wouldn't know, would you? Also, just reach down and get another one. Here it comes. Look at that. Look at the way that bird stands there now. Look. So there's another one. You couldn't pick it out, could you really? You, you couldn't pick mine out. Here comes... Here comes another one. Pure Macclesfield. So I'm hoping this breed, mixing with my breed, they should be good. Look at that. Look at this one here now. Look, look at that one standing. That's mine. That's a new one. That's a new one. The one on the perch is a new one. But that one, that one looks fantastic. Where's the other one I just got? 
Is it the back? No. It's behind that one. There you go. So it's this one, this one, this one, and that back on there. They're the new Macclesfields. Right. Here comes another one. I must admit, they are getting a little bit darker. This one's got full black wings, black flights. Macclesfield prints. So if anybody has got Macclesfields, they'll probably tell you more than me. They'll know more than me. They come in all colours. So we've got another one here. These all come from the same person. But they've all got that distinct. I think they have anyway. Right, let's get another one. Another dark one, look. Said they come in all colours, Macclesfields. This bloke had them for 50 years. He had them off his father, and his father had them off his father. There's the last one. A little yellow, a yellow pied. Look. Is that the right colour? Is that what they call it? I'm not sure. I don't know what colour they call it. That's a little hen bird. I know that much. So yeah, I've got some new Macclesfields to mix in with my Macclesfield prints. I may get a round off the, Mac the new ones pure and then cross them, I'm not sure. But let's be honest, them first two, you, you couldn't tell they weren't mine. Did that one there, look, it looks just like one of mine. If I was to take these two black ones out, I can't reach the yellow, but look at them. What do you think, people? Let me know in the comments below. If that's a good blend. And I'll see you later.